What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, another situation surrounding undefeated three-division world champion, five-time world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely acknowledged and recognized as one of the faces, if not the face of the sport of boxing, and Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis is 29 wins, no loss and no draw. 27 wins by way of knockout, right? He is 29 years of age, 5 for 5 with a 67-inch arm reach. So with that said, Javante Tank Davis, right, is an imposing figure in the sport of boxing. Javante Tank Davis just did the biggest, most lucrative, important fight of his career. April 22nd, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, when he took on and defeated former lightweight, now Julian Welterweight, Mexican-American superstar, title contender, King Ryan, Ryan Garcia, to which Tank knocked him down in the second round, stopped him in the seventh round. With that said, Javante Tank Davis has been, you know, um, the subject of many people's topics. Why? Because Javante Tank Davis is an imposing figure in the sport of boxing. Right. So with that said, Javante Tank Davis is no longer with legendary, iconic Hall of Fame superstar boxer, retired, now promoter and founder of Mayweather Promotions and Floyd Mayweather Jr. But he's still advised by premier boxing champion, founder and advisor Al Heyman. Right. And Al Heyman had a deal in place with Showtime, Showtime president of sports, Steven Espinosa. But Showtime decided that they was getting out the business of the sport of boxing after being in the business of the sport of boxing for 37 years. For which Al Heyman is now taking his brand and stable of fighters to Amazon and Amazon Prime. It is said that. Javante Tank Davis is supposed to be the first major act March of 2024, the first pay-per-view event that's going to introduce the partnership, the relationship, and the new beginnings for the PBC with Amazon Prime. Javante Tank Davis is steadfast calling out his biggest rival, his biggest nemesis, an undefeated two-division world champion, former undisputed lightweight world champion now junior welterweight wbc world champion reigning world champion superstar boxer devin the dream haney he's been calling out devin haney they've been going back and forth and tank davis has been letting it be known that he wants devin haney devin haney said i'm free let's make the fight happen tank davis says say nothing means say less means uh let's make it happen uh, it means that they both want to make the fight happen, right? With that said, Javante Tank Davis today comes out. Again, he's been at odds with Floyd Mayweather. One day he'll post something about Floyd Mayweather. Next day he'll erase it. Or he'll erase it an hour later. He recently posted that What's ironic about this topic is that he's saying that Al Heyman is secretly doing a deal behind his back and didn't inform him and didn't call him back. And he's possibly on the phone with Steven Espinosa, or he just said Steven, uh, and doing a deal that he's not aware of. So if you see him somewhere else, don't be surprised. You know why. Then he put up a picture of uh, Japanese uh, baseball player who recently uh, left his situation as a free agent and signed elsewhere and got a massive deal. So this is what Tank Davis had to say, right? He said, Al was supposed to call me last night, but he didn't. Probably going over that deal with Steven that nobody told me about. So if you see me elsewhere with the eyes, you know what's up. 
right? So he's alluding to that he's going to leave Al Amin. Same sentiments that he uttered when he was with Floyd Mayweather. And he ended up parting ways with Floyd Mayweather, but he stayed with Al Amin in Showtime. And then he put up this picture of this baseball player, right? And obviously, we understand that this baseball player just got a huge deal, right? And uh, uh, he went elsewhere. And Tank Davis put it up, cryptic message, to let the world know that there's a possibility that he could be leaving as a free agent, right? As he put it in his own words, I, he could be leaving, right? Um, now, of course, Al Heyman, uh, um, is doing a massive deal. So this is what Tank Davis, he puts up this picture, right? As you can see, and this athlete went elsewhere. So it's a cryptic message. Fighters should be in control. This is what I'll say. Fighters should be in control of their careers and their situations, Regardless, right? There should never be a situation or a scenario where the fight is not aware or not in control. Anyway, point blank and period, right? The fighter should always be in control. And Javante Tank Davis should be in control. And if he wants to go elsewhere, he should be allowed to go elsewhere. Is he going to go elsewhere? No. Al Heyman does great business with these fighters. OK, he's saying that today he'll be thanking Al Heyman tomorrow. Again, he recently just put up a post how Floyd Mayweather did absolutely nothing for his career, but do a bunch of talking. And Al Heyman was the one who assisted him to be where he's at today. And then just a week later, he's talking about Al Heyman is doing deals behind his back that can see him part ways from Al Heyman. Right. Just a week later, he just put up the post about Floyd Mayweather last week. Now, or a week ago or two weeks ago. Now, a week later, you're saying that Al Heyman is doing business behind your back and don't be surprised to see him somewhere else. And probably on the phone talking about a deal he's not aware of. Al Heyman has to be accountable for not just Javante Tank Davis. He has a whole stable of fighters whose livelihood is in his hands. Depends on the decision that he makes. Al Heyman has been doing great business, obviously, with Javante Tank Davis. Because he just did 1.2 million pay-per-views. A gate of only 20 of 23 million. He did uh uh um $30 million, he, he said it's in his bank account. Hundreds of millions of dollars, he said this in his bank account. Now, that don't mean it's right if Al Heyman is doing the deal behind his back. Uh, and especially if it involves him and his likelihood, his livelihood and his career. He should be aware of it. Um, you know, I just think that it's unnecessary. Uh, let's say Al Heyman didn't call him back like, yesterday. I'm sure Al Heyman has a thousand fighters and a thousand businesses and a, a thousand uh, 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 issues that he has to address on a day to day basis. Why publicly put this out there? I'm confused. Let's just get the fight. If you want to make the fight with Devin Haney, force the fight. Let's make it happen. You are the product. There is nothing without the product. The store don't exist. Without the product, a car don't drive if there's no human being. Well, today's time is cars to drive without human beings. But you understand what I'm trying to get at. So make the fights that you want happen. For so very long, it's been said that behind the scenes, everybody has been orchestrating what direction Javante Tank Davis goes in, who he should fight, uh, dictating who he should fight, when he should fight him. And now Tank Davis, he even admitted he never went to Floyd Mayweather and never went to Al Heyman and said and demanded a fight. Now you're demanding a fight. If they want to go in a different direction, make the fight happen. Make the fight happen. I'm sure Al Heyman has a lot on his plate. 
that he has to deal with, not just Javante Tank Davis. And Javante Tank Davis is simply not going anywhere. Javante Tank Davis is not leaving Al Heyman, period. So let's see how this all unfolds and plays out moving forward. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. And another thing is, if he was to leave, where is he going to go? Yeah, he's definitely a hot commodity. Yes, all these promoters, managers, and platforms would love to have Javante Tank Davis. But who's going to cater to Javante Tank Davis? And 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 concede to Javante Tank Davis like Al Heyman does. Who? Bob Aaron? Eddie Hearn? Frank Warren? Where are you going to go? Oscar De La Hoya? Or are you going to do it on his own? Let's see how this unfolds. And that's all I got for y'all, man. It's your boy Bloom signing off. I'm gone. Peace.